Hello and welcome back to Build and Teach. In this section, we'll be covering the Hello World project. Uh, so Hello World is the traditional first program for students learning a new programming language. Uh, and in this uh, tutorial, we'll be uh, creating the Hello World and you'll see how simple it is to write a Hello World uh, program within uh, Python. But before we get started, let's, uh, uh, let's go and do a quick overview of the Jupyter Notebook. Um, so that you don't get stuck. In case you, you skip the section on the Jupyter Notebook, let's go over it real quick here. Uh, now there's two main types of cells within the Jupyter Notebook. The first type of cell is this markdown cell. You can see here, this cell up here is a markdown cell. It's used to display text in different formats, as well as images. It's usually used to describe the contents of the notebook or the contents of the cell uh, below the markdown cell. Uh, and you can tell you're in a markdown cell if you double click on it, uh, uh, you'll see that it doesn't have this in uh, prefix before the cell. And you can also tell because the markdown uh, item is highlighted in, the, in this dropdown. Uh, markdown cells take markdown language, uh, which in here I have a, a few examples of markdown language. I have a header, which is a header one, which is uh, uh, created by using a single uh, a number symbol here. I have a header three, which requires three number symbols. I have some basic text, which you just start typing your text. <coughs> and I have some bullets. Uh, bullets are, are, are created by using the hyphen and some sp and a space and then the text you want to display to execute what's in a markdown cell and even in a code cell, which is the other type of cell. All you have to do is press shift and enter. And you can see here that the Jupyter Notebook has now formatted the text or the markdown that you specified within your markdown cell. The second type of cell that we have in a Jupyter Notebook is a code cell. You can tell it's a code cell because it have, it'll have code highlighted in the dropdown as well as this input prefix. Uh, and, and this right here is a code cell. So the Hello World program, to write Hello World or to print output uh, Hello World, all you have to do is execute the print function, then open parentheses and close parentheses with some text in between. <clears throat> and here I have hello world as the text in between. Now to execute this code, simply write, uh, simply click on shift enter, and you'll see that the hello world is output at the bottom of the cell. You'll also notice some other uh, text within this cell. The other text is, the, is a comment, is a single line <coughs> comment. And in here, a single line comment is uh, created uh, by using the number symbol and then uh, writing some text. Comments are not executed by the notebook. They are ignored. Uh, so they're mainly there to help the programmer uh, describe what they are doing or remind them of what they are, were doing when they wrote the program uh, or for some brief instructions on how to execute the program also. Uh, to write a comment, uh, a single line comment, you just use the number symbol and then you write some text. If you need larger comments, multi-line comments, uh, you would do a multi-line comment using three single quotes at the beginning of your text and three single quotes at the end of the text. Um, now give these a try. Uh, give the markdown a try. Uh, uh, try to create a header uh, one, header two, header three, header four. Uh, try to create some text, uh, maybe some bullets, and then uh, try the Hello World uh, program. Simply print, open parentheses, your text, close parentheses to execute a cell. Remember, shift enter, uh, and, and also try some multi-line comments, and, uh, as you can see here. Give these a try. As always, there'll be text instructions at the end of this tutorial. Thank you.